Hey, traveler. I want to show you something. Come here. And before we get into it, I'm hoping you're, you're okay. I'm really great, actually, because today is Diluc's birthday, and I wanted to show you the thing that I made him. It took me about a month of trial and error to get it down. <laughs> but I'm not really good at wood carving, but I decided to uh, carve him a little bird statue to represent his falcon that he always has around him. What do you think? Oh, wow. I didn't expect praise from you like that. I was expecting you to say it looks like a bear or something. <laughs> but if you think it looks like a bird, <laughs> great. It makes me really excited, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm really afraid to give it to him. I'm afraid he's not going to like it. But D looks not mean. <sighs> he still has Kaya's Voss that he um, gave him a long, long time ago in his manner, so if Dilo keeps that around, I'm sure he'll like my little handmade gift, right? Ah, he's got to. I mean, he's one of the coolest people in the Adventure Guild. Even all my dads talk about him all the time. Which is nice, I suppose, if we're getting into it, because it's like, hey, I'm a pyro wielding a uh, vision too, and so is Master Diluc, so I want to be as cool as him one day. So it's kind of cool just hearing all these neat stories about Diluc and like the stuff he does for Mondstadt. We just got to really celebrate him today because today's his birthday and, you know, without him, Mondstadt wouldn't even be the coolest place it is now. <laughs> so, ah, sorry for getting so riled up over him. I, I really look up to him. A lot. Like I said, him and I both have the same vision, so it's really nice. And some of my fighting style is, well, admittedly, copied a little bit from how he wields his claymore and stuff. <laughs> I, I really can't use a claymore, well, not only because of my bad luck and I feel like I would break it or hurt somebody because I'd swing too wide. But it really is just hard on my wrists, so welding a sword is much easier for me. <sighs> Master D. Luke. He's so cool. The way he handles the Abyss Mages. Wow. What a truly awe inspiring hero, don't you think? Ah, <sighs> well. We should get on, yeah? I know Barbara wanted to come. She wanted to sing him a song. <sighs> Hope she can join us. Do you have something cool to give Master D. Luke? I bet you do. You're the traveler after all. <laughs> <sighs> oh, there's Barbara right there. Hi, Barbara. Huh? Oh, hi, Benny. Um, are we going to stop by Master D. Luke's place and give him gifts? Yeah. We sure are. <laughs> Glad you could stop by, Barbara. What are you gonna give him? Um, well, I don't think Master D. Luke likes my singing much, but I really have nothing else to give him. I guess I could give him some of my... <sighs> I don't know. I guess I could just sing to him. Do you think he would like it? Well, yeah! I think he would really love it, Barbara. <laughs> Don't be so down about it. Master D. Luke is, well, he's sometimes hard to approach and sometimes hard to read, but I think he would appreciate our efforts too. Give him a warm, happy birthday, don't you think? <laughs> of course, you're right. Well, let's get going, Traveler and Benny. I'm so excited to wish D. Luke a happy birthday. <laughs>